Hey there, I am Parthoshi exploring the field of RPA and sharing my learnings with you by making videos. So as we all know, UiPath recently launched their new product, UiPath Apps. So in the first video of UiPath Apps, we saw a complete walkthrough of different features provided in UiPath Apps and we built our first login app. Now, this video is also going to be very exciting and interesting video. In this video, we are also going to build a registration app, a very simple registration app. But the main exciting thing about this video is going to be after we have built the app on our system and we have published it, we are going to see how we can run that same app through our mobile. So this is going to be very interesting and just let's get started with it. So before that, if you want to understand the very basics of how you can create the app and other things, please do check out the first video in the same playlist. So right now we are going to going to create our first registration app. So this this is my registration form which I have already created. So this is you can see I have created the app and I am on my first page. So for this I have used add new control and I have used the header which is over here. Now whenever you want to add some new element you need to first click on the container and then you need to drag that element over here so i'm going to click on add new control which is going to be a label and let me just change it so we can change it in the general section so it is going to be first new after this okay so can we make it mm -hmm let's see in the styling what we can do normal text capital large text okay i think this looks fine in general now again we are going to click on container add new control and this time it is going to be a text box so i want the user to enter his first name over here enter first name okay and here let me create a variable we are not going to use this but let's just create and keep so maybe we can if we required in further now this is done again i'm going to click on container i am going to click add new control i want to add the label this time we are going to name it as last name and the styling i think i had kept it as large text okay yeah this looks fine now going back to the container add new control and dragging a text box in general first and let's enter this enter last name creating a variable last name okay so let me drag this over here okay so did i did for the first name no okay so this is going to be the first name. okay so we have first name last name after that we can have i suppose we can have an email id mm, so let me take the label mm, email id i think this looks fine again changing it to the last text or oh, large text sorry okay so again going to container add new control i think there's some difference between no i think it's fine okay so we are going to have here let me first give this enter email id Okay, what other entries we can take in the registration form? Email ID. Okay, so for this, we can check. So for email ID, I think we can add one validation. Uh, let's go to the create rule section. If uh, it is going to be compare email id okay so let's see 
what can we do can we have contents or something okay no i don't think that i was trying something but let's just leave it i will tell the condition itself not to tell it going back to the content okay so first name last name email id we can have a phone number as well let's add phone number so label it is going to be phone number event okay not events required going back to the container add new control and text box general enter phone number so i think this is fine this much is fine we can create our next page mm -hmm. let me add a variable phone number okay so i think this much is good to go now i just need to add one button click on container Mm -hmm. let me search for the button uh, okay let's name it as resistor right icon let's use this value no value we want rules let's check if yeah we have to add a rule but first let's add the page from here add a page uh, and it is going to be a new page and now i have to go to add new control scroll down to containers add a container okay so i think i made some mistake let me delete this add new control controller layout okay so let me this we are just going to display registration was successful so let's add a new header and okay so the field is text area smaller let me click on header and here we are going to write registration successful going to the style part making it as headline one and bringing it to the center so on click of submit we want it to go to the registration successful so here now this is my register button in events i'm going to create a rule open a page when the page to open is going to be the new page okay so this is the event that we have created on click of register what it should do is it should take me to the new page in general i think we forgot to add this over here okay so i think this looks fine mm -hmm. the size is also perfect register let's change the position over here okay this looks good let me preview it after that we'll publish it and after that we are going to see how we can add this okay so this looks a bit weird let's change this back over here and let me make it a bit sharp. No, this is more sharp. Okay, this is fine. Let's preview it. Okay, I think this looks good. No problem in that. Okay, so this registration form can be at this side, and let's preview now and see. Okay now what we can do is we can make it this a bit short okay. preview again 
okay now this is fine okay so let me publish this and now so we can see we have successfully built our this particular okay so one mistake we did here we didn't change it to the last text okay i will have to publish it again no problem so let's go to our apps and let's run once from our this system and then we'll go over there so version 2 run let me enter my name okay so i think we have made some mistake over here okay so what it is doing is on click it is okay okay let me edit it and let's see what are the error main page events there is no event on click of submit okay create a rule open page tracking this let me close this okay so this should be fine because everything seems proper let me preview it and let's check over here okay so on click of this it is going general first name default text events let's see why this problem is coming create rule compare equals to okay okay so the problem was with my ui path app so i had to start my system for that so no problem but i created a similar form as you can see over here there is no problem with ui path apps there was just problem with my system so i created the new form itself and now let's see the preview after that we'll publish it so to preview and it has all the same features that we were building for video path this is my detail so once i click on register it shows me registration successfully now what we are going to do is we are simply going to publish it from here now we after we publish it we are going to see how we can run the same app through our phone and get the same output so let me go to my apps this was the previous one that we built so i'm going to just Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you all my phone screen. Okay, so now let me show you all my phone screen. And now, as you all can see, this is my phone screen, which I'm showing. So I'm going to open my browser and I'm going to browse to cloud.uipart.com. Now we are going to run the same app through our mobile. Okay, so this is my, you can see the cloud. I'm going to go to apps. Now this is how you can add to your phone and you can run the app from the phone itself. 
so let's just wait to open it now once it is there you can see we can see all the published apps over here now what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on resistor one okay so it is showing me the app screen now what you need to do if you want to run directly through your phone you just need to click on this and click on add to home screen and the resistor let me name it as resistor app so add automatically now it has been added to my phone home screen now if i see over here i have the app here itself so now i am able to directly run the app through my phone so see the app is loading i am going to fill in the details email id and the phone number and resistor and you see i was successfully able to run the app from my phone and it was just within you say two minutes we were able to successfully run our app so i hope you were able to understand how we can run the apps okay session expired no problem let me just minimize this okay so i hope you learned something very interesting and you also were successfully able to understand how we can run the apps through our phones now this was how we can run using add to home screen uh, option now in the second video what i will try to do is i will try to make a, a video on which you can create an apk for this particular ui path app and you can use it to maybe whatever uh, application you want to use it but we'll try to build an apk of the same ui path apps thank you for watching the complete video i hope you understood the complete concept of how you can run it through app and sorry for the some problems while recording this video because i had to share my laptop screen and uh, phone screen and show all as well but i tried to explain you in the easiest way how we can run the ui path app through our phone thank you